Abercrombie and Fitch shares falling sharply today after the company reported second quarter results. Sales up 24 percent compared to last year, up 3 percent compared to 2019, which has emerged as a key metric in retail. But missing the numbers a little bit off the street's expectations. Joining us now in a first on CNBC interview, Fran Horowitz, Abercrombie and Fitch CEO. Welcome back, Fran. It's good to see you. Hey, Sarah. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me. So investors are clearly zeroing in on sales, which missed the mark a little bit. Profitability came in a lot stronger. Why do you think you saw a deceleration from last quarter and why the market is, is disappointed? You know, we are thrilled with our second quarter results, as you mentioned. We actually had the best Q2 operating rate and up margin since 2008. Um, we have seen our brand's product, voice, and experience coming together and incredibly well received by the consumer. ANF, specifically from a sales perspective, was up 30 over last year. Hollister was up 20. We, um, we launched a new brand this quarter. We relaunched Gilly. I mean, there's so many exciting things happening. Um, and our consumers very engaged with our brands. So you think it was just high expectations from the street after we've seen a number of really strong retail earnings and, and strong data points related to the U.S. consumer right now? We were thrilled with our results. I mean, just could not um, be more pleased with where we landed for the quarter. So what about right now? What are you seeing as far as back to school trends in the current quarter sure. and, and any visibility in the coming months into holiday? So we've seen a nice start to back to school. So Hollister and kids, as you know, Sarah, are back to school brands. We've seen in the early states like Georgia and Texas and Florida, a nice, um, nice start to back to school. It's exciting because if you look at the calendar, you look what's happening, it's a very elongated back to school season. In fact, the New York, you know, the tri-state area and the New York schools aren't even going back until after Labor Day. But our business has been, our back to school business is off to a nice start. And in Abercrombie, we refer to it as back to fall because that's when that consumer starts to think about fall and that happens a little bit later. CFO on the call said uh, that there is some assumptions of supply chain pressures coming in on, on sales, larger impact coming from cost inflation. Can you go into a little more detail, Fran, as to what you're seeing there, what the problems are and how long they're going to last? So the supply chain is a challenge. I think you've been hearing it on most of the calls and everything that we're reading across the industry. When we set up um, in 2020, sorry, we set up something called a COVID playbook and our supply chain teams and our uh, sourcing teams have been hard at work since then. I would say that was a good warm up to what they're experiencing now. There's a lot of challenges out there. But with that said, we are managing it better than most. We are able to get our inventory here, as you mentioned, Scott said, about one to three weeks later. But we've also been bringing um, our inventory ahead of time. We've also been platforming fabric. So we've got a lot of mitigation strategies to make sure that we're not disappointing our customer. Uh, but Ms. Horowitz, some of these things are out of your control. I mean, I think your CFO even said that. And you do seem to be reliant to a certain extent as well on the reopening of Vietnam. Are there any risks inherent in that? Well, so we, um, we source from 17 countries around the world. We have a very agile supply chain. You're right, you know, some of it is macro and some of it's out of our control, but we are controlling what we can. And we are making sure that we are moving fabrics to the countries that are up and operating and that the team is making sure if they have to move from ocean to air and get the goods here as quickly as we can.